Welcome to IIT Bombay, one of India's premier academic institutions. IIT has several state of the art laboratories and safety is a priority for us. So we have made a series of videos highlighting how to be safe. This video is about electrical safety. Electricity is part of our day-to-day -day life and its discovery has brought immense benefits to mankind. But at the same time, it has the potential to cause severe harm and property damage if precautions are not taken while working with electrical systems. In this video, we present the following topics. Risks associated with electricity. Physiological effects of electricity. Electrical safety measures for working in the laboratory. Arc flash hazards. Action to be taken in case of an electric shock. We will first see the risks related with electrical work. These are Electric shocks and electrocutions Electrical fires Arc flash Injuries caused by fall from height Electric shock is the response produced in the body due to the flow of electric current which interferes with the body's natural signal system. Electric shocks and electrocutions are caused by contact with damaged cables, energized metal coverings of electrical equipment or other exposed energized components. Electrical fires are mainly caused by loose contact in electrical connections overloading of electrical circuits and deterioration of insulation. Electric arcs and sparks can ignite flammable gases and vapors in the vicinity. An arc flash is caused by the rapid release of energy due to an arcing fault between two conductors. Electric shock can cause a person to lose balance and fall from height resulting in serious injuries. Electric shock can also cause heating of tissues causing severe burns. Physiological Effects of Electricity The physiological effects produced by electric current flowing through human body mainly depends on the amount of current passing, duration of the current flow, resistance of the flow path, path of the current flow in the body, frequency of the current. For alternating current, a current as low as 5 mA can cause a painful shock. Muscular contractions caused by flow of electric current in the body will prevent the person in contact with the live wire to free himself or herself from the wire. Ventricular fibrillation is a condition in which the heart goes into repeated uncoordinated contractions affecting the blood flow to the vital organs. Direct current can also cause similar effects as produced by the alternating current in the body. For the direct current to produce the same effect of alternating current in the human body, the amount of current must be three to four times the alternating current. Electrical safety measures for working in the laboratory. We will see some of the safety precautions required while working with electrical systems. Do not wear metallic items like chains or rings while working in the laboratory. These metallic items can come in contact with light parts of the circuit causing the current to flow into the body. Further, these can get entangled in any unguarded moving parts of the equipment. Isolate or insulate any energized parts which the researcher can come in contact with. Use insulating mats to prevent contact with the ground. Do not work with wet hands. Water or perspiration can greatly reduce the skin resistance any open wounds on the skin can also reduce the skin resistance and cause the current to easily flow into the body. Access to electric panels must not be obstructed. You must know the location of the shut-off switches on the equipment for emergency use. 
never work with any electrical equipment or switchboard while standing on a wet floor. Inspect the experimental setup for damaged wires or connections before starting work. The metallic casing of the electrical equipment must be connected to the earth pin of the plug using the earth wire. We will now see the precautions for multimeter usage. The multimeter must have the symbol and listing number of an independent testing laboratory such as UL, CSA, TUV or other recognized approval agency. Always check the category rating and voltage rating of the meter before usage. Use replacement fuses approved by the manufacturer. Never replace a blown fuse with a wrong one. Test leads must be double insulated and with finger guards. When using the probe, keep your fingers behind the finger guards. If capacitors are used for research work, it must be fully discharged before working on it. Capacitors can cause impact shocks. Capacitors must have bleeder resistors across the capacitor terminals for discharging. Electric power operated tools shall either be of the approved double insulated type or must be grounded. We will now see the precautions to be taken while conducting high voltage experiments. All high voltage setups must be protected against unauthorized entry of personnel. Sufficient clearances must be provided to prevent unplanned flashovers. Be sure to properly ground your experimental setup and your enclosure. A suitable grounding rod must be used to earth any piece of equipment before touching. Arc Flash Hazards If the arc fault has enough energy, a flash will occur. The flash will superheat the air into plasma to thousands of degrees and can vaporize metals. The heat released can cause third degree burns. Electrical equipment must be marked with arc flash warning label. Control measures for arc flash hazards. Arc resistant equipment. Arc fault detection relays. Remote raking of circuit breakers. Arc rated personal protective equipment. Action to be taken in case of an electric shock. To protect from electric shock, contact with energized parts must be prevented. In case of an electric shock, never touch a person whom you suspect is in contact with an energized electrical circuit. Switch off the power supply and remove any electrical cable from the vicinity. Get medical help immediately. If the person is not responding and if you are trained in CPR, provide cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Lockout, Tagout Lockout or tagout procedures helps to safeguard employees from inadvertent energization of the equipment during maintenance activities. Lockout device cannot be removed without a key and helps to prevent equipment from becoming energized. Let us summarize. Electrical equipment can be potentially hazardous if improperly used or maintained. Eliminating or controlling electrical hazards in the workplace will help to prevent serious injuries and loss of lives. Thanks for watching and be safe.